Right. So who are our best ideal customers for these pilot projects? And what are we looking for? And what are, would they be getting in return in, uh, for participating in our pilot projects? That's a really good question. I think that if you're a large entity like a government agency or a company that's doing a lot of data archival, so that's long-term storage of data that doesn't get retrieved very frequently, then you're already looking for a new solution because the way you do it now, uh, you have two choices. You can run your own tape library in-house or you can outsource it to a cloud provider. Neither of those are ideal solutions for uh, these companies for various reasons. Um, so what we're looking for is anybody that's doing that and in the industries that we're focusing on right now uh, are the entertainment industries, lots of film studios uh, that are doing a lot of archival, oil and gas companies, a lot of the uh, geo exploration data that they have to keep around forever. Uh, that's a really great candidate for storage and DNA. Government agencies obviously have a lot of data that they want to uh, keep around for forever. Uh, but if there are interest, inbound interest from other industries, we're more than happy to uh, look at that and see if that's a good fit for us. And so what would, the, what would be the advantage of participating in these pilot projects and working with us early on rather than waiting for this technology to mature? That's also a very good question. And so part of the thing, part of what we want to get out of this is to have as many technical and business conversations with these partners as possible throughout the processes. And for the, the partners, that would be a way for them to influence the direction of the development of our software layer, as well as the technical features that we would have in a final product. So if we can build the right product that's built around their, your needs, uh, I think that's a good way to benefit from this pilot project uh, rather than having to, uh, than waiting for something to come out that's not optimized around your needs. So what are some of the characteristics that could uh, signal a successful partnership in these pilot projects? I think we're looking for people with lots of data first of all but that are also looking for a long-term partnership and some um, and, and people that are willing to and, and actually want to get involved in the development process of a new data storage medium. So that could involve people with lots of data, but also somebody that has a need and a desire to compute on them. So it's an active archival system rather than something that they just keep on the shelf forever. So if you're having to run new machine learning algorithms uh, through the data that spans decades, uh, and then uh, get the results back. Uh, you know that may not be possible with classical computing, but if you want to explore that area with DNA-based storage and computing, that could be an ideal partnership for us. I think that the support that universities give to its students and postdocs for their entrepreneurial uh, aspirations is incredibly valuable. Uh, for me, that actually was critical for me to start a company. Uh, so that started out in Wisconsin when I was going to grad school there. There was a program called Entrepreneurial Bootcamp. I participated in that. In MIT, there was a, a similar program called Start MIT, where they invited successful entrepreneurs that uh, are from MIT to come in, give lectures, and uh, answer questions from the students and postdocs. So that was tremendously helpful. Uh, and these incubators that MIT and other schools make to house and mentor startups that are just starting out I think are uh, critically important in getting these companies off the ground, especially if you're coming from a science background. You really have no idea how to start uh, or where to get the funding to get things off the ground. Um, and so these university resources are very helpful and uh, for me critical in, in starting Catalog. Yeah, so another resource that MIT provides for entrepreneurs within their ecosystem is this MIT Industry Liaison Program, as well as the Startup Exchange Program. So they connect MIT affiliated technology, including those from startups, with their corporate members. And that's been really valuable for us in getting uh, warm introductions to corporations that could become uh, partners in the long run. Uh, and to attend events where we can really spread the, the word and the idea of DNA-based storage to the general public and to relevant uh, corporate uh, industry partners.